Hi everyone, today we're gonna go over some tips and tricks that I use and that you can use as well when fighting Carnals as a Tenno. The most important thing that you're gonna wanna pay a lot of attention to and you're gonna wanna do properly is stamina management. There is no dinosaur in the game right now that is as much dependent on managing your stamina as the Tenno. You're too big to try to hide if you're low and disappear in the bushes. You're not that fast if you don't have any stamina left. And in general, you won't be able to outrun anybody anyway. Carnivores are faster than you anyway. So a Tenno without stamina is a dead tenno. This is the most important thing you're gonna want to pay attention to. You never wanna be out there in the open with one or two car nose around and have 50%, 40, 30% of your stamina left. Always check your stamina and save it as preciously as if it's your HPs or blood. One thing that I like to do when I engage in a new fight against a carno or also Utah's, is to actually gauge my opponent. So I let him do a little bit of a few moves and I try to see how he kind of plays. For example, if I see that he just charged straight at me, then I know he's pretty much a new player or not that good. But if I see that he's actually trying to juke the charge and try to force me to waste my stamina and try to exhaust me, then I know I'm probably facing a better Cardinal, so I have to play a bit more conservatively. So at first, you just let them do their thing and just try to react to it, just to get an idea of what skill level you're facing and then you know what you can get away with so as a tenno against a carno what you're gonna want to do in a fight is to look out for errors from your opponent and punish them tenno is not good at chasing opponents the carno is just faster than you it's not a good plan to just chase it more often than not you'll waste too much stamina you might be completely out of position trying to chase a carno and you'll probably die or some other carnos will show up so what you want to do is hold your ground the carno needs to hunt you anyway so he's gonna come for it hold your ground or find a better terrain than where you get engaged if it's not too much in your favor but you're gonna want to be patient and that's the important part and then just look out for these errors that the carno will make and then punish them using the terrain to your advantage is also quite important as a tenno you're gonna want to use for example rocks rivers foliage to break line of sights also hills, you can use that to break line of sight with your opponent. So you're gonna wanna use that to your advantage whenever you can. There's absolutely no shame in using Terran to your advantage. It's part of surviving in a survival game and you should do it as much as you can. Especially as a new player, if you're not too comfortable yet in hitting your shots and things like that, then Terran will be your best friend. When you start a fight, there's good chances that there will be more than one Carnal. Carnals tends to usually call around when things are not going too much in their favor and then more show up. So you want to have an escape plan or at least a safe spot that you think you can recover from. If you're directly in the middle of center plane, it's not the proper place to fight multiple Carnals at all. So you want to try to know your way around the map where there are more or less places that you can use to your advantage and move from one of these points to the next and reduce the maximum you can the time that you spend far away from these so-called safe spots. And when a fight engage and you're not too sure how many opponents there are or if you can get away with it because, I don't know, the Carnal could be pretty good. There are some good Carnals out there. So you want to have an escape plan that you start slowly to walk toward as you fight the Carnal off before it's too late. Don't start thinking about an escape route when you're almost dead or completely out of stamina, then it's too late. So the most common type of attack you're gonna see from Carnals against you is the classic going straight at you with a charge and then hoping to knock you down and maybe bite you a little bit on the ground. This is usually done by the Carnals who are pretty beginner and they don't know exactly what, what they're doing. It can be done, but you have to use a turn as a Carnal to pull it off. If you just go straight for your opponent as a Carnal, if the Tenno is just a little bit experimented, he will just turn it against you, move out of the way and then tail slam you. So when they do that against you and you see that they're not juking it out and they're just, they're just going straight for it, then it's usually a, pretty much a gift for you. So you, you walk out of the way and then you tail slam him and while he's stunned, you have time to turn around and kick him in the face. And this is pretty devastating because right out of the, out of the bat, the Carnal probably lost already a good 40%, maybe 50% of his HP, maybe a little bit less, but you will do some damage for sure. You might even have time for a second kick, not always, depending on the positioning. 
when you're committing to intercepting a charge, there's one thing you really need to look out for. It's actually taking into account latency. The charge will actually knock you down if it's too close to your body. But you have to also keep in mind that your position on the server, especially if you're both moving fast, is not what you have exactly on your screen. So always allow a little bit more buffer. If you're too close to the tail, it might look right on your screen and you wonder why you got knocked down, but actually on the server there is this tiny delay, which is your pain essentially, and this can actually be a make it or break it for you. So always allow a little bit of a safety buffer when you're in intercepting a charge for a tail slam, otherwise you might be just knocked down. One last thing that you need to be on the lookout for when you're actually going for the kicks after the initial tail slam and the interception is that usually this is a moment where you're not too mobile and that other carnals will try to capitalize on it while you're not paying attention. So keep an eye on your surrounding because there might be another carnal that will try to knock you down right as you're pummeling his friend essentially. So one important element of fighting large packs of carnals as a solo tenno is to basically use the least amount of strength that you need to just to discourage them from attacking further. Do not chase kills when you're facing multiple carnals. What you want to do, use these kick combos and tail slam combos with kicks to try to put them out of actions. But to actually score kills, you're probably going to burn way more stamina as opposed to just try to put them out of action because you need to put the carnals in a state where they have to wonder whether it's worth the, the risk to go for another attack or just bail out because they might not survive the next time that they screw up. And this is kind of the position you want to put the carnals in. Also, there might be the case where you run low on stamina, for example, or HPs. In these case, never throw it. Always play and hold your ground as if you had enough stamina to do so. Because there's many times where I survive fights, even though I was completely out, and they could have just come and face tank me, but they don't know that. So if you don't act like you're starting to panic and run left and right, and you're clearly out of stamina, then they might not know that, and they might not have the HP to afford another kick to the face. So play this to your advantage. Now, there might be a case where you will face better Carnos better carnals will try to exhaust you. In these case, when you see that they're actually faking their charges, like canceling it or pretending to go for a charge and then just turning at the last second, then in these case, you need to start to play much more conservatively with your stamina. Be really mindful of it because what they're actually going to try to go for is get these small tail bites or maybe some head bites, but don't give them your head. That's pretty important. Also, always try to not give the head to the carnals. And what you're going to want to do against carnals who try to exhaust you is to have these explosive moves when when they're either in a slide because they committed too much too close to you and then they were sliding in your direction and while they're sliding then you can try to do these explosive moves toward them running into them trying to body block and then get some kicks out and stun and chain them that's usually how you're gonna try to get your damage out on these carnals. You have to be much more careful. They're kind of, it's gonna be more dancing around each other when this happens. You, you try to essentially force the opponent to, either the carnal will try to force you to give your head or a place he can bite more or less safely, and you on the opposite, you try to get in there when he's not paying enough attention or he committed a bit too close to you, and then you try to get some stuns and kicks out. So I hope this was helpful. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you have any question, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you. Ciao.